machine must be parked on safe and level ground. Ensure the ignition key is removed, the handbrake is fully applied and the battery isolator key is removed. These checks make sure the machine cannot be started or moved without your knowledge or consent. The machine fluid levels should be checked every morning before starting the machine. Each site should hold the relevant oils and coolant so that the levels can be maintained. The correct fluid types can be found in the operator's manual. Remember, while checking any machine fluids, the correct PPE must be worn. Ensure any spills are cleaned up and waste disposed of correctly. Open the engine cover. You'll need some clean rag or paper roll to check oil levels. The engine oil dipstick is located to the rear of the engine. Remove the dipstick and clean off. Dip back in, fully pushing the dipstick home before removing again to read. The level should be on the upper mark on the dipstick. Replace the dipstick. Carefully loosen the cap on the expansion tank and let any pressure release from the system. Remove and replace the cap. The level should be on the max mark on the side of the header tank. If a top-up is required, add the recommended coolant and fill up to the maximum mark. The transmission fluid should be checked with the engine warm, but it is good practice to check the system has fluid first. Remove the dipstick and clean off. Dip back in, fully pushing the dipstick home before removing to read. Fluid should show on the upper mark on the dipstick. Repeat this check once the engine has run for five minutes, allowing the system to fill. Dip one minute after turning the engine off. Check the fuel filter water trap every 50 hours. If water is present, then this should be drained by unscrewing the drain tap under the sight glass. Make sure the air filter inlet is free from debris and damage. The filter needs to be checked every 50 hours and replaced if necessary. Visually check around the engine bay for any leaks and possible problems. Now all the engine bay checks are complete, close and lock the engine cover. Move to the rear of the machine to check the hydraulic fluid level. The filler is located inside the rear access door. To check the level, start to remove the cap and allow any pressure to release. Take off the cap and wipe the dipstick before dipping back into the hydraulic tank. The level should be between the two marks on the dipstick. Some machines have a sight glass. Fluid should be visible through the glass. The brake fluid reservoir is located in the toolbox panel on the front of the cab. To release, pull the release handle in the cab. In here, you'll also find the washer bottle filler cap, the wheel brace and grease gun. Check the brake fluid level is to the maximum mark. If not, only top up with JCB Hydraulic Fluid HP15. Do not use ordinary brake fluid. If you have to top up the brake reservoir frequently, get the brake system checked by your JCB dealer. Do not use the machine until the fault has been put right.